Copito and Quack came out of their hiding place. What is wrong with you, old man? asked Copito. My shoes, cried the man. They keep running away from me. I'll get your shoes for you if you can tell me what is coming from your eyes, said Copito. They are tears, said the old man. What are tears, said Cass Copito. The old man was speechless for a second. Haven't you ever cried? I don't know how to, admitted Copito, but I'm good at laughing. Perhaps I can make you do that. Copito and Quack hurried behind the tree, untied the string and the old man's shoes fell down. However, when they returned, he wasn't laughing. So you took my boots, he said, looking sad. Why did you do that? You are playing a prank. Copito explained, it made us laugh. But you made me cry, said the old man, wiping a tear from his cheek. Copito and Quack suddenly felt very guilty and sad to come here, said the old man. No, said Copito, you are going to pull my ears. I promise I won't said the old man. Copito stepped forward nervously and the old man hugged him. I forgive you, but please promise you won't play plans that upset people. Copito felt tears prick their eyes for the first time. But I thought it made me laugh. It would make other people happy too. We are sorry. That's okay. I'm sure you can both think of ways to make people happy without being so mean. <coughs> Copito and Quack thanked the old man and went on their way. As they walked, Copito started to kiss, sweep and his ears bubbled around and Quack performed the silly dance. They passed the farmer who found him so, so funny and he ordered Billy and laughed him so much. Copito and Quack went from town to town like this, performed the funny act and searing up a They didn't play a single prank. Soon they become farmers toward the land of making people happy. First they become so famous the king made him both knights and they got their very own coat of arms. From that day, the only tears they ever saw were tears of laughter.